Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to Blackwell Deception. Just loaded up the game and remembered I don't know what I'm doing now. So I think I decided I was gonna go see Penelope. I have to remember everything now. I'm gonna be completely honest, it's been a while since I played. Let's see what Penelope's gotta say. Hopefully something. Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. Well, thanks for your time, Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's uh, you. Stop by any time. I'm actually currently stuck. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh. Kevin. What caused Penelope Trent was due to a man named Gavin. Jeremy Sams died. I have no idea who Gavin even is. And I'm never gonna find out. I have no new email. <sighs> the only lead I have right now is the psychic. Jeremy lost his phone somewhere. I wonder if anyone found it. Jeremy lost his... It says that Jeremy followed... So... This is Lisa. That means that he left his phone there. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to... Can I switch to... Okay, so what I'm going to try and figure out is if I can switch back to... Joey, even when Joey's, like, super far from her. I can't. I'm too far. Crap. Because what... Hmm, what I wanted to try and do was to have Joey be in the house and then have her call Jeremy... Oh, it's in the trash! I thought the phone would be inside! Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sams. Please leave a message. Oh, we're gonna look in this trash can. God, that's disgusting. Is Jeremy's phone really under all that? Only one way to find out. You gonna help or what? Being How? dead means I don't have to pick through garbage. It's one of the perks. Right. Found it. Jeremy better appreciate this. Can we look at it? Dumpster diver. Phone. I found it in the trash. Oh. Alright, let's go present Jeremy with his phone. I want to look through it, but... Come on in. Because his justification for being alive oh. right now Hi, is that he Make has his phone. phone. Jeremy, I've got something to show you. But before I do, could I see your phone? What, what this? Yes. Now take a look here. I don't get it. You've got the same phone as me? No, Jeremy. It's your it phone. It is your phone. No, it's not. I've got mine right here. I called you, remember? Yes, how did you I don't call know me? how you did that, but that's not your phone. This is. You lost it outside of Lisa's. It was in the trash can. That's, that's impossible. impossible. I called it. It rang. It's yours. I... No. No, this, this is a trick. Mm -hmm. Jeremy. No! Just when I'm getting close, you're trying to confuse me. You're trying to make me forget. Forget my appointment. What appointment? Appointment? Yes, at the High Line. I'm meeting with someone who will explain everything. Who? I'm going. Don't try and stop me. I guess we're going to the High Line then. That's where he died. Oh, good. Something fell off. I don't remember what it was though. Oh, Jeremy's! Jeremy's fell off. This sound usually indicates they realize that they're dead, but... 
It usually accompanies the ghosts like fading Jeremy? in and out. I was here. This is me. Yep. I was standing right there. But then I heard a pop, and then, then I was calling you with a phone that couldn't exist. Somehow, I just knew you were the one who could help me. Hmm. Like I said, it's what we do. Interesting. Could you tell us who you were meeting here? I was meeting a man named Gavin. Lisa arranged it. I've heard stories. People change around him. They destroy their lives, sometimes even die. Die like I died. Hmm. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I don't know why, but I feel good. Relieved, even. Good. You'll find him, won't you? You can take over? We'll find him, Jeremy. This won't happen to anybody else. Thank you. We got your back, Jeremy. Oh, he's ready. Jeremy, it's time. Wong. <laughs> that animation still, every time. This is incredible. All this time, I never imagined. This is your life now. Yep. This is my life now. Not quite the village eye, is it? Beats writing book reviews. Um, so I guess I should just... Yeah, the light. Just go through it? Just go through it. There you go. Oh, she stopped to look back. Well, he's gone. You okay? Sure. Nothing an entire bottle of wine won't fix. Well, you know what they say. Bacchus knows best. Hmm. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is, like, a dramatization. I don't think they ever did the whole chalk outline just thing. morbid. Maybe we should call, um, Detective Durkin and let him know we've got his phone. Durkin. Hi, it's me again. Uh-huh. I found Jeremy's phone outside of a psychic's office. You did, huh? Where is it? I've got it with me. Hello? You found potential evidence and removed it from the scene? Yes. I needed to. Uh -huh. I found out that Jeremy went to visit a psychic named Lisa Tenzin. A psychic? Is it relevant? I don't know. Well, we'll keep her on file. Thanks for the info. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? Nope. I don't have anything else for you. Mm hmm Good night. I gave you everything I had, and I was hoping you would help me, and you didn't. So now I'm not quite sure... Where to go? Mm. I really am, like, out of options. The sun's coming up, it seems. I can't see inside. It's a mailbox. That's a route through her mail. Oh, I can't get it open. Jimmy it open with the with the brochure. I don't think so. Hmm. All right. I have a question, Joey. <laughs> Joey, what do we do now? Yeah. I like how he came over to so talk to me. So now I've got Jeremy's phone. I'm not sure what that proves. It proves he was at Lisa's. Maybe that's enough. Okay. That's all for now. Yeah. Let's confront Lisa. Locked. Oh, that's right. Yes. Hi. Oh, hello. Let me in. I got some questions Please for you. Sit. Oh crap. Uh. Oh, Jeremy's Lisa, phone. Lisa, I found Jeremy's phone. It was outside in the trash. It's a public street. So he was here. He might have been outside. I cannot say. Look at that furrowed brow. I know brow. you spoke to Jeremy, Lisa. Why are you lying to me? 
Lying, what makes you think that? I just know Jeremy told you you're psychic. I'm ah. psychic, like you. You have the gift? Yes. Somehow I doubt that. I think this interview is at an end. It's very clear that I will be unable to help you. Your mind is closed off. You aren't seeking help. You only want to destroy. What? No, I, I only want to... Your very presence is damaging the aura of peace I spent years trying to create. I insist that you leave. And I also insist you give up this line of inquiry. Give hmm. up? That's not an option. Not for me. Nevertheless. My friend came to see you, and then he was killed. You can either help me, or you can get in my way. But one way or another, I'm gonna find out what happened. I'll be in touch. Smooth exit. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Oh! And do what? Not bad for a night's work. I guess. We still don't know how or why Jeremy was killed. That's not really our problem, is it? Maybe. It's just kind of personal this time. Yeah, I get it. Hey, it's look, true. Get some we did resolve the ghost tomorrow. issue. Yeah, you're right. It's been a long night. We took care of the ghost, so... Joey. Yeah? The old man at the Our work here home. is done. Who is he? Hmm. Get some sleep, Red. <laughs> Breaking news! Was revealed to be Jeremy Sams, a reporter at the City Post newspaper. No suspect is in custody yet. The police issued a statement to say that their investigations are continuing and advised everyone to avoid the High Line after dark. We gotta avoid the High Line after dark. Is it dark? I don't even know where to go. At this point. Gavin, Highline, Jeremy, Sams. That's all I've got. Can I even go back to the psychic's office? I can. There's only three places to go. The Highline. There's nothing here. I just came to check. It's pretty quiet out there tonight. Good. I don't want someone looking up here and seeing me talk to myself. Creepy. All right, let's go back to Seagram. Let's head up to the common room. She's not here. Nobody's here. Huh. Wow, the residents here sure get the star treatment. Nobody's here, so I guess my only option is... Um... The Psychic! Lisa! Lisa! Oh, she's got a, th a chart. She didn't have a chart there when we got here, but it's there now. And we're back! I don't have the phone anymore, either. You gonna let us in? Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Hi, Lisa? Hello? <coughs> well, that was rude. Alright, <laughs> let's, let's take a look. Everything looks the same. No differences. Oh, what you looking at? Is that Danny? Is that you? Hmm. How the hell did Lisa get this? How the hell? Did, how the hell did? Danny. She's staring at that photograph. Can I blow on it just to mess with her? <laughs> Not sure what I'll get. We've discovered something! Danny. 
She knows him. That phony knows him. Hmm. Knows who? Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> the old Remember man. Remember that old guy in the nursing home? She's mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Hmm. Guess where we're going now. Just jump the gun a little bit. Oh! Not much I can do in there. Forgot I was Joey. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what's what's going on? Before you couldn't even click out of a screen while you were Joey. He's still not here. I wonder if he's on the twelfth floor. Let's check it. I'll ride this elevator all night if that's what it takes. She's not here either. Locked. Well, I'm not trying to get in. Oh, maybe we should go confront... <sighs> confront Lisa? I want to talk to the old guy. I want him to tell me what Joey will not. I've spent a lot of time walking around doing nothing here. I like how Joey turns red under the light, too. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Do you know a Danny Marconi? What about him? Pause. Come in. <laughs> okay. Let me in and I'll tell you. No, I don't think so. Goodbye. Sorry. Jeremy. Look, you've had some time to think about it. Maybe we can talk about Jeremy now. Guess that's a no. Might as well exhaust all of these. Sorry, I'm not seeing- Don't go anywhere, Lisa. I need to talk to you. Hello? Damn it. Buzz. Sorry. Wait. Hello? Damn it. I like how every time I buzz it, she says, sorry, not seeing Why clients not? tonight. Why not? Please come back tomorrow. Hello? Sorry. It's me again. Hello? She doesn't want to talk about Danny. Sorry. About Danny Marconi. What about him? Let me in and I'll tell you. No. I don't think so. Leave. Crap. What am I missing? Let's go back in. Because I can't swap while I'm in here. I can't swap while I'm in here I either. I can't pick the That's Danny. Some woman. It looks like he's a tailor. Well, they're both tailors. How the hell did Lisa get this? Hmm. I wonder what to do. I can't you. I wouldn't even know who to. She's staring at that photograph. None of them mean any. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's go ask for a hint. Let's talk. What is it, Joey? I think that Lisa Tenzin was throwing us a line. She's had some time to stew. Let's shake her and see what falls out. Mm. All right, let's get back to it. Sure. Locked. I was trying to click on Joey. Oh, I can't get it open. Got a sec? What is- But so what do you- th I think that Lisa Tenzin was throw- She's had some time to st- I've already tried though. Fun. Yeah. I can't do anything about it. 
Can I look up, um, what's his name? His name I've already forgotten because I suck with names. Uh, damn, it's like Tony or Charlie or something like that. Danny. About Danny, Danny Marconi. Marconi. What? Um, Let me in. No. No. Nothing. This 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 Google sucks. I'm trying, but it's not working. She won't let me in. I can't open it from out here. I can't interact with this stuff. That's the Should exit. psychics really advertise themselves like this? Maybe I've been going about this the wrong way. And what would I do with it exactly? Let's pick through the trash some more. I am not picking through random trash. Mm, you already did once. Well, I guess it wasn't random. We're supposed to shake her down. And Rose's abilities are limited out here. There's a reason why I keep my hands in my pockets. There's less disappointment that way. Oh, that's a good line. Full of pseudo-mystic junk. What do you want me to do, scare it? Wouldn't want to read him, even if I could. It does nothing for me. I can't touch it. I can't inter- There's a reason. Wouldn't want to read him. More mystic. Don't know what I can do. There's a skull. I maybe I should blow at her. I again. I'm like throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks here. I'm not gonna waste my breath on her. Not sure what I'll gain by blowing. Not sure what. Not sure what. Hmm. Not sure what. Not sure what. Not sure, not sure. Looks like an urn. That's way too heavy for me. <laughs> Just float in front of her. I still can't go upstairs. Ah, too far away from red. This is as far as I can go. <sighs> there's a door I can interact with. Doesn't look with. like there's anything in there. There's I guess there's nothing stopping me from... Just your... Looks like an urn. She's staring at that. F I can't do. There's almost nothing I can do. Nothing on there but junk. <sighs> oh, let me just take a second here. Couldn't talk to her. Oh, let's just float to the door. All right. So apparently, there's like. I want to say it almost looks like there's a side quest but I'm not sure I didn't even think about like I didn't even think about talking to that woman I'm like oh I don't need them anymore she might know something about Danny hi again hello do you have a patient here named Danny Marconi yes we do are you a relative no I'm just hoping to ask him some questions oh I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this but he passed away earlier this afternoon. Oh. I see. It was peaceful. He just went quietly in his sleep. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, good for him. What do we come here for anyway? Come on, let's blow. Um, sorry to bother you. So, do you want to talk about it? Yeah. It's ancient history. There's nothing to say. Let's just get a move on. Hmm. I really think you need to tell me about it. Joey. You rang. It's ancient history. Legit psychic or not, that neon sign is so tacky. Says the girl with the lava lamp in her bedroom. What's wrong with lava lamps? If you have to ask the question, you already know the answer. He's, he's awfully um judgy for... A ghost that died who knows how long ago. So what do you think? I think that Lisa Tenzin was throwing us a line. She's had some time to stew. Let's shake her and... Oh, we now That's know that now. he's dead. Yeah. So, I, well, he's passed on. So, 
We can tell her that now. Sorry. About Danny Marconi. What about? He died today. I know he died this afternoon. And? And I wanted to talk to you about him. Yesterday, you threatened me. Today, you want to talk about my grandfather. Wait. Grandfather? He was your grandfather? Grandfather. I can't believe it. Well, hmm. um Uh, we have a mutual friend. We have a mutual friend. Really? And who might that be? It's complicated. Uh -huh. I ask you again. How do you know my grandfather? I have no problem telling her telling her about Joey. A little help here. <sighs> Just tell her this. He used to be a tailor. He used to be a tailor. That, there are a million ways you could have known that. A million um, ways! Uh, fine. Tell her everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. What? Just say it. Everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. Excuse me? He drank whiskey straight with no ice. He put salt on everything. He played the clarinet like he was born with it in his hand. He would have sold his soul to play at the supper club. And he was madly, madly in love with a singer named Linda. Madly in love with a singer named Linda. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Get in here. Linda was my grandmother. She died before I was born. Thank heaven for small favors. Seeing you would have broken her heart. You're for real, aren't you? You're one of them? Them? Yes. Them? No. I'm not falling for that. I've been nothing but loyal over the years. You have no reason to test me like this. Look at her. Shaking like a leaf. Just because there was that bit of trouble with the reporter... You mean his murder. I am not responsible for that. Trouble. Why now? If what I suspect is true, you people have looked the other way for years. Why the change of heart? B um, her suspicions. What exactly do you suspect? Oh, no. I keep my suspicions to myself. I'm safe if I don't act on them. Look, I'm just a friend of Jeremy's. I want to know what happened, that's all. Whoever Gavin is, he needs to be stopped. I... want to believe you. Then what's the problem? Look, what if I tell you my suspicions and I'm wrong? You think I can just walk away? So what do you suggest? I'll give you the names of the last two clients I referred to Gavin. That's harmless enough. You look into them. You find anything. Maybe we can talk. Okay. It's better than nothing. Fine. Give them to me. Here. Okay. Give me the names. Thanks. I will get to the bottom of this. I hope so. But until you do, leave me out of it. Now get yeah. out. I've done all I can. She's a tough, tough nut to crack, man. Is this what you lived for, Danny? Was it worth it? You were a good man, Danny. You deserved a better legacy than this. Well, maybe we both did. So it looks like we've got to track down these two names. Huh? Oh, sure. Who are they? We've got a Tiffany Walters. She lives on Thompson Street, just south of Washington Square. And the other? Jamie Graham. She's a student up at Columbia. Didn't you go to school there? Yeah, it's been a while. Let's go see Tiffany first. Charming. Tiffany's name is written on her buzzer. She's in apartment two, right on the ground floor. Nice. It's a bunch of mailboxes. Tiffany's mailbox is on the bottom row. Oh, there's water dripping. They're all locked. Hmm. Flyers for guitar lessons, computer repair, and furniture. Although this one looks interesting. Attention fellow residents, it's come to my attention that many of you here have set up insecure Wi-Fi networks for your apartment. That's fine, assuming you want every NYU student on the block to leech off you and slow your system to a crawl. If you're like the rest of us, you might want to learn how to add a password to your system. And here's one piece of advice for free. Your dog's name is not a secure password. A concerned res resident. I don't think I can, like, check the Wi-Fi. I don't think we're in that era quite yet. 
Is it locked? Locked. All right, let's buzz her. Let's let's hit the buzzer. See what she's got for us. No response. Hmm. All right. Well, it's a good thing we've got Joey then. Huh? Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, oh. Is this Tiffany? Hi there. What? Who are you? How'd you get in? Oh, I. Um, I'm a neighbor. I just moved into the building. I live down the hall. Just thought I'd come meet the neighbors. Really? Oh, how nice. Hmm. It makes my day when people care. Huh? I can see right through you, mister. You're not the only one. Oh, shut <laughs> up! I can see through you, you too. You think you're so clever? You think you're so charming? Can't blame a guy for trying. Well, take it somewhere else. I've had enough. Enough of what? I'm turning my back now. I want to be left alone. She's dead. So... It's not a great track record for people that uh, meet Gavin. There's a message written on this photo. Rachel and Tiff. We... rocked? I don't get it. <laughs> we rocked? What the hell does that mean? I can only assume her name is Rachel. It looks like Tiffany. I guess she worked in an office before she died. Tiffany and Rachel. Leads to a back room. Can we go back there? No good. This is as far as I can move. Dude, I can't even get close to the ghost. Looks like Ugh. a pretty threatening letter from someone called STP. STP. STP Tiffany Walters, your final payment. Miss Walters, as per our agreement, your final balance owed has been directly deposited into the account we have on file. We would also like to remind you not to harass our client further. This includes phone calls, emails, text messages, and personal visits. We have received numerous complaints. If these actions continue, we will be forced to take the appropriate police action. I hope it does not come to this. We appreciate your compliance in this matter. So they're paying her to leave someone alone. I guess. It's kind of what it looks like. That's Thompson Street out there. Why is that relevant? Or is it? So how did it go? She's a spook, all right. Mm. Pretty recent one, too. Just like Jeremy. Yeah. I wonder where and how she died. Oh, let's switch. So Tiffany Walters knew Rachel. Rachel and Tiffany were in the same photograph together, so obviously they know each other. Ooh. What was all that... that microphone feedback? Rachel and Tiffany were in the same photograph together, so obviously they know each other. What the heck? STP. Tiffany had a letter from someone named STP. If there's a connection, I don't see it. STP, Tiffany and Rachel. Hmm. Can we look up Tiffany Walters? Ah, oh, it's there's an obituary. Ooh, she Oh, so Tiffany Ann Walters, 32, died of a cerebral hemorrhage on November 11th, 2010, at her Manhattan home. She was survived by her parents, who will be making funeral arrangements in their hometown of Madison, Wisconsin. Hmm. Rachel. STP. The, um, the city, like, the newspaper's gone, too. Sneaking through the Columbia campus at night isn't how I envisioned coming back here. Keypad locks? Those are new. <laughs> she just spun 350. There's a keypad on this door. Oh. Ah! Hello? 
looks like the coast is clear. Is the note the it keypad says, number? It remember Waterloo. Waterloo. So I'm sure that correlates to a date that you would think I'd know. Looks like textbooks. Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Looks like a schedule of some kind. Every item is marked by a letter and number code. I can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, can I look it up? Can I look it up? That would be so convenient. Uh, 1815. Okay, Battle of Waterloo is fought in June 1815 near Waterloo in present-day Belgium. Then part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands. It's the Battle of Waterloo. So, 1815. <laughs> There's a keypad on this door. Hey, I'm in. It's a good thing he talks loud so I could hear him mention we Waterloo. We don't need any of that stuff. It's full of makeup, nail polish, eyeliner, hairspray. I guess that's college for you. This looks like a class schedule. I recognize a bunch of the course codes from when I studied here. I you remember this... that after all this time? It wasn't that long ago. If you say so. Let's see. She's mostly taking English and history classes. A lit major. Uh -huh. Now this is interesting. She's taking the same writing class that I did. That's interesting. Well, it is to me. She's even got the same professor. Elaine Appleton. I was going to say, I assume this red and um, green light here is it's a laptop. It's a small laptop. Password? Damn. Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic, Epileptic Fish. Fish. I've heard of those guys. I'm not sure they play together anymore. Damn. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Random knickknacks and boxes of cosmetics. Nothing important. Pretty Mess. typical for a college kid, I guess. We don't need an- I'm a medium, not a maid. Nice. Oh. This is really old. It's got a cassette player and everything. Does anyone listen to cassette tapes anymore? It must be something she had as a child. The radio. Ouch. Those heels look like they'd hurt. I'm not here to steal shoes. You could be. No point. It doesn't even have a tape inside. It must have sentimental value of some kind. There's nothing useful in there. Mm. The old radio. No point. It, it must have sentimental value of some kind. This is really old. Does anyone listen to- That's not the password, is it? Radio? Nope. Hmm. One of Lisa's old clients. Oh, Jamie Graham is her full name. Elaine Appleton was Jamie's English professor. Mine too, oddly enough. Jamie and Elaine. Can we look her up? New phone number. Columbia University English Department, Elaine Appleton Creative Writing. Office hours, 4 to 8 p.m. and her number. So let's give her a call. I have no more water on my desk. Uh Hi, is this Elaine Appleton? That's me. Who's this? Rosangela Blackwell. I was in your class around 10 years ago. Rosangela, yes, yes, of course I remember you. It's been a long time. You remember I me? I you had a book published. Is that right? Yeah. Something like that. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, sure. What can I help you with? Uh, Jamie. Well, I'm surprised you remember me after all this time. I am also surprised. Oh, it was my first year as a professor, and you did stand out. Uh, I, did. I guess if the it was coffee, her first year. The cup you spilled all over my desk? Oh god, I completely forgot about that. I didn't. I had to let those papers dry out all night. <sighs> I wanted to ask about a student of yours, Jamie Graham. Oh, her, yes. So tragic. 
tragic what happened. Tragic? You mean you don't know? She died just last week. She I... died. No. No, I didn't. Oh, well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Did you know her well? No, not really. But could I ask you some questions about her? I'm not sure what I can tell you that I already didn't tell the police, but go ahead. What can you tell me about Jamie? I hate to speak ill of her, but she was a disappointment. How so? That's rude. At first, she was very keen about her work. She was a brilliant writer, but that brilliance soon faded. By midterm, she'd show up for class late and hung over, and when she showed up at all. Hmm. And as for what she was wearing, well, let's just say it wasn't appropriate. Probably happened after she met Gavin. What made her brilliant? She had a way of infecting you with her passion. When she loved something, she could make you love it, too. She had a keen interest in Middle Eastern history. So it was no surprise that most of her work had Middle Eastern themes to them. But as I said, that faded with time. She stopped having a passion for much of anything, I think. Such a waste. You said she faded. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. I wish I did. At the time, I figured it was the typical story. Young, sheltered girl comes to the city and gets overwhelmed with the freedom of it all. Most adjust fine. Some, well, don't. I could tell she was troubled, but I learned long ago that it isn't my place to reach out. I remember hmm. you being a bit closed off, once upon a time. Yes, well, we all change. What was wrong with her clothes? I'm no prude, but what she was wearing should stay in Munray's where it belongs. Munray's? Hmm. It's a nightclub. A popular hangout for the students here. And is Jamie a, went there. Is that a she new location? A so I'd assume yes. Although it was more like a half a shirt. How did Jamie How die? How did Jamie die? I'm not oh. sure. No foul play, if that's what you're asking. It was a clot in the brain or something like that. Really? That the same the said, anyway. reason Tiffany died? Why were the police involved? If she died by natural causes, why involve them? I wondered the same thing myself. The detective, a man named Durkin, I Durkin. Believe, wasn't very forthcoming. Durkin. Hmm. Um, let's Have ask. Have you ever heard of a man named Gavin? Gavin? Can't say I know any Gavins. I'm a teacher. I've come in contact with thousands of people, but nope, not a single Gavin. Have you ever heard of STP? I'm afraid not. Okay, I think I'm done with you for now. She gave me all the information I have. Is there anything else you could tell me about Jamie? If there's anything specific you'd like to know, just ask. She's very helpful. That's who I'm talking to right now. You could ask her about herself. Now I'm done. I should get going. Are you still in the city? We should have coffee sometime. Oh, totally. Uh, sure. I'm a bit wrapped up in the story, but maybe after? Sure, sure. You take care. Um, let's give our buddy Durkin a call. Durkin. Hi, it's me again. Uh-huh. Let's ask about I Jamie. I wanted to talk to you about Jamie Graham. Who? Jamie, a Columbia student. I was told you were looking into it. I yep. think Jamie and Jeremy might be connected. Could we talk somewhere? Why should I do that? Look, you owe me, and I might be able to help you out again. You could, huh? Like you said, I get around. What the hell? I need a cup of coffee anyway. Hey. You know a place in Alphabet City called Cup of Clay? I'll find it. Right. See you there. Look at we're making stuff happen here. So... Jamie spent a lot of time at Munray's, according to Elaine Appleton. Do I have Munray's? Should I look it up? Tiffany. There's a lot of- I went from having almost no notes to a ton of notes. Oh. Let's look up Munray's. There we go. Munray's New York City. Voted City's number one nightclub by Time In Magazine. Hmm. All the best in house, trance, and electronica. Special guest DJ Tomo. Nice. Alright, we can leave now.
Yep, let's leave. Just trying to think if there was anything else I could do for the laptop, but... Let's go to the cafe first. Have a little talk with Durkin. <laughs> Joey just phases through the wall. Hi, Detective Durkin? Oh, it's This you. is a nice cafe. So, what can I do for you? So why are you looking into Jamie's death? Her teacher said it was natural. Well, she was right. It looked that way, sure enough. And? The body was found in a dumpster off of Amsterdam. Natural or not, how did the body get in there? A dumpster? So it was murder. I didn't say that. It was three blocks away from some nightclub. We learned she was a regular, so we went over. She bought it in the upstairs room. Some kind of VIP area. I assume One that means die. Dancing the night away. The next, lights out. Nobody yeah. saw how she died. Just that she was dead. Anyway, the bouncer saw it and freaked, so he snuck her out and dumped her. Like I said, cut and dry. Case closed. Murder? How are you sure she wasn't murdered? <coughs> oh we my have goodness. this thing Dang. called a coroner's report. Right. What did it say? I don't know the medical term, but some kind of brain vessel burst? It happens. One thing's for sure. It was no murder. Just rotten luck. No, I'm pretty sure it was murder. What else did the coroner's report say? Nothing too important. Why? I don't know. Could I see it? You do owe me. I don't know about that, but you certainly do get around. Look, I can't give you the actual report, but I can give you the gist. You all might right. be nuts, but for some reason, I think you're alright. Thanks. All right. Don't thank me. You owe me now. You got a phone? Yeah. yeah. When we finish here, I'll send you a message. Do the initials STP mean anything to you? Nah, sorry. Oh, make it this club where Jamie died. It was Munray's, wasn't it? You get around. Yeah, that was the place. You spoke to Professor Appleton. The Graham kids prof? Yeah, why? Well, no reason, really. Should I ask him about Does Tiffany? Does Tiffany Walters mean anything to you? Nah. Hmm, she died too. Do you know any Rachels? Nah, sorry. Not a single Rachel? I know at least two Rachels in my real life. Do you know anyone named Gavin? You're gonna have to be more specific than that. He's kind of a cult leader. I'm not sure what he does yet. Yet? Have you heard of him or not? Nah, sorry. You're useless to me. Useless! Well, bye. See ya. So, I kind of want to combine Tiffany and if there's any connection, it's the name Gavin. Damn. They both kind of died the same way, too. Alright, let's go to the club. Let's go to the club! <laughs> I could have, like... Hey, check it out. I got a message from Durkin. Uh-huh. All of a sudden, like, I've got nothing and then it's just BAM 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 BAM! What better dollar cover for this dump? You got robbed. What? I yeah. said you got robbed. I look like a slob? No. Well, yes, kind of. Ah, just forget <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, what better setting to check my message? Okay, I can't do this here. They look pretty engrossed, whoever they are. Hi. Hello. They're ignoring me. Looks like some kind of flat screen panel. Search for a song. Virtual DJ. I have no idea. Uh, drunk looks guy. Drunk, whoever he is. He's just leaning against the wall. Hi. Hi? Nobody He's wants- looking at me funny. I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. Nobody wants to make any conversation here. I don't blame him! Hi. Hey! I can't just chat with some stranger. Not here, anyway. To the dance floor! Let's talk to the bartender Hi. first. Hi, got a sec? 
Hello? She's serving a bunch of customers on the other side. I can't get her attention. We're gonna go boogie! Excuse me, could I ask... Hello? Ow, hey, watch the arm! No one's here um, to answer your yeah, questions, that's girl. Not There's a sign that says the VIP area is closed. I could try and climb over, but I'd get caught instantly. Alright, well let's do this then. We're sending Joey in quite a bit. God, I was hoping it would be quieter in here. There's a ghost though. Jamie? You're Jamie Graham, aren't you? Do I know you? Not yet, but uh, I hope to change that. You think so, huh? Anyway, I'm Joey. Uh-huh. Oh my god! So, uh, you come here often? They're all pickup lines. What brings you so, here? What brings you here? It's a place to go, right? It's a place, I'll give it that. <laughs> Are you even Are old enough to be in here? Two under age. Sorry, I've got the best ID money can buy. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Are you alone here tonight? That's a crime. Whatever. Yeah. I'm here with friends. Friends, huh? They'll be here any minute. Well, in the meantime, how about we get to know each other? How about not? You come here often? Don't think I've seen you before. Maybe you have, but I know I've never seen you. Hey? I wouldn't forget a Rat Pack reject like you. What's Ooh. up with that? Reject? I'll have you know this fabric is top of the line. Look at me, I'm impressed. Rat Pack reject. Interesting music, huh? It's alright. So, how about a drink? No thanks. Come on, just one drink and a conversation. If you still don't like me, you can dump it on me. Deal? Don't tempt me. Hmm. Care to dance? Whatever. No, this music sucks. Why are you being like this? You barely know me. Please, I've already got a dog back home. Hey, now that's a bit uncalled for. Hmm. His name is Benji. You'd like him. You've got a lot in common. Benji. Got it. I've got a scram, but uh, don't you go anywhere. I make no promises. It says this room is off limits, but I think that only applies to living people. I can't go in there anyway. Oh, this room. The VIP room. All right, let's leave this club. Let's go. Let's get out of here. My goodness. Oh, jeez. All right, back to Jamie's. For a couple reasons. One. I'm glad she remembered the code. One, we've got a potential password. There we go. Hey, kid, you doing okay? Just thought I'd check in. You doing uh, all right out there. Things are the same back west. Drop your mother a line and let her know how you're doing. Everyone here misses... Everyone misses... Everyone here back in Illinois misses you. Good, good heavens. Jamie, did you hear that Allie and John got married? They eloped last week. Made her mom furious. They're living in Mattoon now. You'd think they would want to move further away from here, but whatevs. Come visit soon. Here's Lisa. The psychic air quotes. Jamie, I think I've taken you as far as I can, dear. This dark energy around you just won't lift and it might be beyond my abilities. Come by my office as soon as you can. I'm going to send you to someone who can do the job better than I can. And I bet you it's Gavin. Hey, Jamie, just wanted to know... Just wanted you to know that a great time last night. The past few weeks have been great. Even. You want to get together again tomorrow? Seb. Thank you for getting in touch. Lisa told me about your problem, and I do believe I can help. It will require some extreme changes in your life, but I think you can handle it. Let's meet tomorrow, and remember, things are never as bad as they seem. Gavin. 
Is what I'm hearing true? Are you really failing three subjects? So she sees Gavin, and then all of a sudden, Jamie, you were doing so well with gotten into you. Call me anytime, Dad. You know what? Forget it. You want to get high and piss your life away in, in that Munray's dump? Then go right ahead. I don't care. I'm done. What the hell happened to you? Jamie, is what they're saying true? Please answer and say it's not true. Hi, my name is Jeremy Sams. And I'm a reporter with the City Post. I was hoping to chat with you about your experiences with Gavin. We can do it over the phone or I can buy you a coffee. Ladies' choice. Jeremy Sams City Post. Seb again. So you finally did it. You spiraled out of control and ended up where I thought you would. Jesus, why am I writing you? I know you're dead. This is stupid. I go to that nightclub hoping to see you there. Why? I don't know. Why do you do this, Jamie? Everything was so good. Seb. Hmm. What's I'm not here to steal again? Jamie's things. Besides, There's... I've got no place to put it. Looks like a poster for a band called... Epileptic, Epileptic Fish. Fish. I've heard of those guys. Epileptic Fish. No point. It doesn't even have... It must have said... I kind of want to see if I can... Like, trigger her. Back to the awesome club! Search for a song. One. Hey, we're a music lover. Is this Sab by any chance? Sab, are I mean. Seb? Hmm? I said, are you Seb? Yeah, I heard. Do I know you? Hey. No, but we have a mutual friend. Really? Who? Jamie. Jamie Graham. Sorry, don't know her. Yeah, you do. Do you want to go somewhere more quiet? It's kind of loud in here. I don't want to talk anyway, so I'll stay right here. I read the email you wrote to Jamie. That was private. Sorry, I, I know. It couldn't be helped. <sighs> I, I could not read it. What do you want? I'm trying to learn about her. I'll save you the trouble. She was a drug addict, a dropout, and a tease. Then she spun out of control. I'm like yelling over this music. You here alone? Yeah, and I like it that way. <laughs> she was a drug addict. Yeah, big time. She kept trying to get me on the stuff. Called me boring. Boring. Right. At least I'm not dead. He's got a point. At she least was he's a drug yeah, oop, boring. Oop, oop, oop. She dropped out of school. Not yet. But she stopped going to class. She was gonna drop out or get kicked out. One or the other. Yeah. Why was Jamie a tease? No reason. Forget it. Hmm. Why do you come here? It doesn't seem like your kind of place. You want to talk? I'm here on business. Kind of. So why are you here? I don't know. Does it matter? I just am. Listen, buddy. Are you gonna be helpful or not? Oh. I forgot about that. And to read the message. I totally forgot. Um. I wanted to ask him about... Did you know Jamie's professor? Elaine Appleton. We talked about oh, her sometimes, SCP. but I don't know. But... Um, I read Jamie's autopsy report. What's it say? Is she still dead? It confirms what everyone says. She died of a cerebral hemorrhage. No surprise. All the drugs she took had to mess up her brain somehow. Jamie and drugs. So Jamie was a drug addict. Not that it's any of your business, but yeah. Always bragging about getting high on E every night. But she was proud of it. She tried to get mm. me on the stuff. Said I needed to loosen up. Look where it got her. I mean, you got a point. Does STP mean anything to you? No. All right, I'm done with you. Well, I have to go. Later. Let's go up now that we've changed the song. Jamie. Oh, what? Care to dance? Why not? I love this song. Yeah, I know this song is your jam. Tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. So what are you studying? Nothing important. How about you? What did you study back in the dark ages? Nice. Oh my goodness. Entertainment. 
you know, pictures. I was gonna be the next Cecil B. DeMille. Who? Ugh, forget it. Kids today don't know they're born. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. So, what do you do when you're not lighting up the dance floor? Nothing much. How about you? Um... She said spare time. Oh, okay. Good point. I talk to pretty girls like you. Oh, look Alex, at this grin. That awful. Really? I thought it was pretty smooth myself. Look at me. I'm swooning. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. Where are you from? Uh, nowhere special. Where are you from? Um, I travel. I'm what you'd call a citizen of the world. Fine, be all mysterious. I don't care. So, what's the deal with this place anyway? What do you mean? It's loud, it's got zero class. Why come here? To be free, of course. To be really alive, you need to let yourself go. I used to be so scared of places like this. But they're so liberating, don't you think? I could die tomorrow, life's too short. Mmm, you could have died a couple days ago. So, you think you're liberated? Yes, I, I feel so free now. I always felt something was missing. I needed to get out of my stuffy room and live. And you do that by coming here? I have fun. I've never had so much fun before. And I'm happy, well. damn it. So much happier. Mmm. You said you could die tomorrow. Do you ever think about that? Geez, what's with the doom and gloom? You brought it up, not me. I can't think about that. If and when I go, I want to say I enjoyed my life. And have you? What kind of question is that? Of course I have. You were scared of this place? Places like it. I didn't think it was me. I never would have thought of going to a place like this a year ago. But now, I can't think of anything else. Hmm. Let's ask her about her drug so, problem. Here you like to party. Why? You got something? No, do you? No, but I could if I wanted to. Anytime. Right. Right. Is this the only place you go? For now. I'll move on eventually, but for now, this is where I want to be. Tell me about Professor Appleton. Um, no. I don't come here to talk about school. Okay. Hi. He's right here. If I have a question, I can just ask her. Um. So, I heard this horrible story the other day. Really? It was about a girl who died in a place like this and was thrown into a dumpster. Jesus, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Look, forget it. You say the weirdest things. If someone had said that to me at a club, I would assume they were a serial killer. Say, do you know a guy named Jeremy? Huh? No. Do you know anyone named Gavin? Shh. Shut up and dance. She does. Do you know anyone named Tiffany Walters? Huh? No. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think so, but I wanted to see if there was a correlation between the two of them. Okay, so, um... Tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. I feel like there's something in here. So what are you studying? Nothing important. How about you? What did you study back in the dark ages? Um... I never went to a university. Oh, sorry. So... You got a... So... Nothing much. I come to places like this. Really? You don't seem the type. Maybe there's more to me than meets the eye. Somehow, I doubt that. Hmm. So, you got where are you from? <sighs> Out west. Out west. Really? Whereabouts? Uh, Illinois? Illinois. No way! So am I! Where in Illinois? Uh, Mattoon. No way. I grew up 20 minutes from there. Really? Really? Mattoon. It's even a smaller town than mine. 
Yeah, well, that's why I left. I know the feeling. Although, I miss it in a way. We should talk about the old place sometime. I'd like that very much. So. You got a question? Ask it. Ooh, so okay. Studying? Nothing important. We're How trying to what figure out what she does. Ages. So she was studying English, primarily. English. For a guy who studied English, you sure talk funny. So. You got a. So what? Is Nothing important. Hmm. English. She did English and writing. History, history. maybe. Really? What kind of history? Uh, Middle Something Eastern. About Middle Eastern history always fascinated me. You know, I used to be the same way. Everyone has their own opinion about what goes on there, but it's so ancient. But you can never truly understand anything unless you know where it came from. I know what you mean. Things move so fast nowadays. I know, right? Nobody else gets it. And you do? I thought I did, once. Maybe we can talk more about it sometime? I'd like that. We're gonna get her so, to have a conversation tell me with about us. yourself. You got a question? Ask it. So, what do you do when you're not lighting up the dance floor? Nothing much. How about you? This is a tough one. Travel nightlife shows pretty girls. Uh, nightlife, I guess? Uh... I come to places like this. Really? Maybe there's more- Somehow? So nope, that's not it. So- no. I t Ouch. Really? Look at- So- You got- So- No. I bounce around. See everything I can. Mm-hmm. I don't remember touching on this subject. So, you got So. No. Go to concerts, maybe taking a show. Oh. So you're a watcher, huh? Well, I like watching you. Ouch. Yeah. So. Maybe I don't so, I don't think I have the information uh, I need. Yeah, whatever. I've got a I make no promises. So I got her for two. I remembered, like I picked up all the. We need. We really need to get out of this club, like post haste. This club is killing me. Let's, nope. 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 Oh my goodness, my ears. All right, we're gonna take a little reprieve at the house, free from the noise, and we're going to end this one here. Um, I uh, don't know what to say. Like, I felt like we were wrapping things up and then it was just like, boom, 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 boom. Information, information, place, place, place. Figure it out, figure it out. It's like, oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff we have to, I was, I had almost no leads and now I have so many leads. But I definitely prefer knowing, kind of knowing what I need to do versus having no idea what I need to do, so. Um. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this one here. If you've been watching up to this point, man, the music is so loud in this game. If you've been watching up to this point, as always, I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one for sure. I love you, but until then, bye.